Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. I wanted to go back to the um, post that I did earlier this week, which is assessing your space and realizing and focusing on what works in the space first, and then looking at what doesn't, and how you can use what does work to fix what doesn't. <laughs> that probably makes no sense, but I'll use an example here in my kitchen. What really works for me in my kitchen is my household management binder. I just I just think it's simple to use. I love the plastic sleeves where I can just slide things in. I can easily reference things when, you know, I'm, I'm cooking or waiting for something in the kitchen. I can flip through. I love my household management binder and I love that system. What I don't love is my recipe box, which was located beside my microwave. It doesn't work. I had all of the intentions and filling out all these index cards and putting them in properly, but it just, it never happened and it's probably never going to happen. So, I mean, I it's somewhat organized in that all the side dishes are together, all the entrees are together, but the scraps of papers are just paper clipped in here and I have to like take everything out and go through what I'm looking for. So I'm getting rid of this box because it's not working and I'm going to use what does work which is a binder system. So I'm going to move all of my recipes into a binder, I'm going to use tabs to divide them and I'm going to have plastic sleeves so if I have a new one um, I can just slide it in, right? If I print one off, I can slide it in. If somebody hand writes me one, it doesn't matter, I can slide it in. It can be all different sizes and that's okay. And the clear plastic sleeves are going to protect them from me slopping on them. So, loving that idea. And then now that I've removed this box from my kitchen, which was beside the microwave, I have a lot more space and I was able to create a whole binder system. So you see I haven't put labels on them yet, but I have one for kids crafts, one that's going to be my home, net, my household management binder, I'm just transferring it over so it's white, one for Izzy's school, one for Abby's artwork and Abby's things, and then one for recipes. So I'll show you so far what I've done with my crafts. And the reason I love this is because what I was doing before for my crafts was um, not my my crafts, but the information I wanted for school work and crafts, I had it all downstairs. Even though we do it up here at the kitchen table, I just didn't have a place to put it. So I would hardly ever go down. But now I can keep all my ideas, different work pages that I have printed for them, right here in the kitchen where we use it. So I love that. I love it. It's quick reference. And now it's all neat and organized in a system that works for me, which is a binder system. So I've got circle songs and finger plays and different craft ideas for every month. Everything in here. I even have some things that I've already cut out for them and I can do some prep work now ahead of time when I have some spots and I can slide it in here and have it ready for when I quickly need a craft without having to use a lot of time. So if you're like me and find that a binder system really works for you, stop using something that doesn't, like a box like this, which totally doesn't work for me. A great way also of using a binder is for a bill paying station. So in the front pocket, you can slide all the bills that need to be paid, and then you can use dividers, one for each month, with clear plastic sleeves, one for each uh, bill, I mean or for a month, however you want to do it, and clear plastic sleeves to slide it in. So you'd have one for, you know, hydro, one for gas, one for your MasterCard, one for all those bills, and you can slide it in and keep a binder in your kitchen if that's where you do your bill paying. So binders are such an awesome organizing tool. Should have taken advantage of them long ago because they work for me. If binders don't work for you, just think about what system you are using that super works for you, and then use that same system throughout your house for all the areas that aren't working. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm super geeked. I'm going to show you my binder systems when I'm all done, the recipes and all my kids' binders, and I have pretty labels on them, so stay tuned. That's your tip of the day. We'll see you next time.